Hello everyone, my name is Matt Garr and I lead our product management team for Google Cloud's Data Boundary and Sovereignty Solutions. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most critical topics for any organization operating in today's complex global landscape, digital sovereignty. And more importantly, we'll discuss how Google Cloud is delivering on our commitment to give you the power of choice to meet your specific needs with confidence. So why is this conversation so urgent right now? We see three major forces driving the global demand for sovereign solutions. First, regulations. The regulatory landscape is evolving at an incredible pace. Nations around the world are implementing new rules that demand more digital and physical control over how organizational data is stored, processed, and managed. Second, geopolitics. The world is changing quickly and organizations need to plan for new scenarios. This requires a new level of control and resilience to ensure that critical operations are protected, no matter what happens on the global stage. And third, faster innovation. In this environment, building your own sovereign capabilities from scratch is incredibly time consuming and expensive. Our customers are telling us that they need to innovate faster, not get bogged down in building and managing complex infrastructure. They need to leverage the power of the hyperscale cloud, but in a new way that meets these new stringent requirements. At Google Cloud, we believe the answer is not a one size fits all approach. That's why we've built the industry's most comprehensive portfolio of sovereign solutions designed to give you the power of choice. It starts with Google Cloud's data boundary. This is our foundational offering on Google's public cloud available in all our cloud regions today. It's ideal for most commercial enterprise and public sector organizations that need robust data residency and access controls and also want to leverage a wide array of Google Cloud services. For customers with even stricter requirements, particularly in Europe and to meet France's SECNUM cloud regulations, we offer Google Cloud Dedicated. This provides complete data and operational sovereignty delivered through a trusted independent local partner. And for the most sensitive workloads, like those in defense and intelligence, we offer Google Cloud AirGapped, a fully disconnected solution that can be operated in a customer's own data center. Today, we're gonna to focus primarily on our data boundary solution, which provides a foundation to meet many customer requirements. Google Cloud data boundary customers have access to a large set of Google Cloud products and services, including AI services, with the protection of five key additional control areas. First, data residency controls. Data residency controls remove global API access and regionalize data residency at rest, in process, and in transit operations. Second, administrative access control. Data access paths are mapped and access controls are put in place to restrict access based on the customer's selected compliance or sovereignty requirements. Administrative access to customer data and workloads is logged, audited, and permitted only under predefined support conditions. Third, encryption and access justifications. Customers have the ability to manage their keys on or off Google Cloud to meet their security and compliance needs, and they can explicitly prevent access to their keys. Fourth, local personnel controls. These controls limit support personnel access to only those agents who have the right set of authorizations and location. And fifth, partner supervision. In locations including France, Germany, Italy, Spain, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, local partners can provide external key management, access justification, and local support for their customers. We also recently announced the User Data Shield, a solution that adds Mandiant services to attest to the sovereign properties of customer applications built on top of Google Cloud Data Boundary. User Data Shield can provide continuous assessment of customer applications in select markets to validate their sovereignty postures. In addition, Google Workspace customers can take advantage of Google Cloud's data boundary sovereign controls to limit the processing of their data to the United States or EU. They can choose the country where their data is stored and also use client-side encryption to prevent unauthorized access to their data. Let's double click on data residency. We ensure that you can decide where your data resides across its entire life cycle. This means providing guarantees for data at rest, ensuring services store data only in the regions that you choose. It also means protecting data in transit, 
using specifically designed services and regional endpoints to keep data within your chosen jurisdiction as it moves across our network. And it means controlling data in use, ensuring that services only process your data in the regions that you designate. We've regionalized the cloud console as an extra layer of protection. Now, finally, this is all backed by enforcement. We have controls that actively monitor and prevent your data from crossing the boundaries that you set. A powerful example of this enforcement is our key access justifications feature for external key manager. This gives you, the customer, absolute cryptographic control. When any access to data is requested, whether it's initiated by your own applications, a Google administrator, or a system process, that request must be sent to your external key manager with a valid justification. Your access justification policy, which you manage completely outside of Google, then makes the decision to approve or deny that request in real time. If denied, Google cannot decrypt your data. This is true, provable, customer-controlled data sovereignty. Our access controls enable our commitments on data access. While we believe we are already the most secure cloud by default, for your most sensitive data, we provide extra layers of protection. This means privileged access only, with all access strictly managed. It means justified access only, where only the support agent assigned to your case is granted permissions. It means full transparency through audit logs. And it also means you can add extra authorization, making yourself a multi-party approver for any Google access to your data. Our commitments also extend to our support teams. With assured support, you can ensure that your cases are handled only by Google support team members, who are authorized background check personnel who meet specific regulatory or locational requirements. This is present in our US person support for public sector customers, EU support for EU customers, and a number of other regions as well. We make data boundaries simple to deploy. Using assured workloads, you can simply select the control package that meets your data boundary requirements. You can set your resource location, and then you can configure your keys. In just those steps, you can create a folder that automatically inherits and enforces all the controls of the data boundary selected. This makes compliance repeatable, simple, and secure by design. And this flexible model allows us to provide two main types of data boundaries. First, regional data boundaries provide strong data residency, sovereignty, and access controls. And these are available in all Google Cloud regions globally. These boundaries are ideal for customers concerned with data sovereignty or the regional location of their data. Second, regulatory data boundaries. These are designed with the controls tailored to specific regulatory frameworks. Our offerings cover a wide array of regulatory regimes, including FedRAMP, IL-5, CGIS, and Canada Protected B. And we continue to expand the available boundaries as the regulatory environment continues to evolve. The portfolio of these packages is also constantly growing. We already offer a wide array of regional data boundaries across Americas, Europe, Middle East, and Asia. These data boundaries are available in every Google Cloud region today. Second, we have a deep portfolio of regulatory data boundaries for the US public sector. This includes FedRAMP, IL-2, 4, and 5, ITAR for arms control, and CGIS. We also meet Canadian public sector requirements for protected B and continue to expand into other regulations in Canada. We also support key verticals such as healthcare, including HIPAA and high trust, and continue to expand these offerings into other regulated industries. And finally, we have our sovereign controls by partners offerings, which provide the highest levels of control through partners like Sans in France, T-Systems in Germany, Minsight in Spain, PSN and Telecom Italia in Italy, and Context in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. For each of these boundaries, partners offer managed EKM, access approvals, and local support providing customers with even stronger guarantees for residency, sovereignty, and access control. As we know our customers are looking to use Google's AI services and infrastructure, we are highly focused on providing sovereign AI. We believe that customers shouldn't have to choose between leveraging cutting-edge AI and meeting their sovereignty requirements. Today, we already enable generative AI on Vertex AI, Vertex AI search as well within our data boundaries, ensuring data location and local ML processing in select locations and for select regulatory regimes. We're continuing to expand to bring the full power of Google's AI to our customers in a way that provides unparalleled control and trust. And this is already delivering real world value. 
A great example is Regnology, a leading financial services software provider. They use Google Cloud's sovereign solutions to meet the stringent demands of their banking customers across Europe, ensuring that they can innovate with confidence while adhering to complex financial regulations. They are a fantastic example of the power of choice in action. Let's hear more from Antoine Moreau, the CIO for Regnology. Well, thanks, Matt. I'm Antoine, CIO at Regnology. Um, we're operating a business that is not a regulated business, but servicing a heavily regulated industry, which is the banks and the regulators themselves, uh, through software that are here to help them to meet their regulatory obligations. So when we started working with those clients three, four years ago, when it came to cloud adoption at scale for production, we had quite a success with a lot of our clients. And it worked very well, and they were very happy with the combination of GCP and our products. Worked well at scale, everyone was happy with the outcome. Then we started to discuss with other customers that come with stronger regulatory requirements. It could be customers in Switzerland, for example, that historically have had a more complex regulatory landscape when it comes to data management. So when we faced this challenge, uh, we try to understand exactly what was the requirement from those customers. And the requirement were multiple. Uh, one, they wanted the data to stay in the country, but also they have a number of things around it when it comes to who can manage the data, who can access the data, who can control the data, and so on and so forth. When this came up, uh, this felt like a heavy burden for us to, to deal with. Uh, and you know, reached out to to Google and GCP and said, guys, you know, how would you fix this? How do you usually solve that problem? And that's when they came back with the data boundary solution. Um, felt a bit too good to be true initially, to be honest, because it was checking all the boxes, um, and, and I was quite of worried that we had to rewrite a lot of our terraforming scripts and the automation we have in the background because it was a new product, and it would make the cost of adoption really, really high. Uh, but you know, we decided to go on with a POC and actually realized that the adoption was fairly simple because we kept everything we had ready and we just had to toggle a few options to make it work. So that was a really you know, pleasant surprise. I don't have them all day, so I really enjoyed it. Um, and once the POC was ready, we went back to the customers and you know, explained what we did jointly with, with Google and said, guys, you know, this is how we solved your problem. What do you think? And they were excited because they said, guys, this is what we needed for us to be able to adopt uh, you know, a cloud transformation journey at scale, because now we can demonstrate to our regulators that we're delivering what they want whilst using the scalability and the flexibility of a hyperscaler. Uh, and that's how we came onto the market. That's how we delivered that solution initially in, in Switzerland, because this is where we had the most pressing demand. Uh, but it happened that once we had this to our portfolio of products, other customers in France, in Germany, in Poland uh, actually wanted the same solution, not because they have the same regulatory constraints or requirements, but more because they want to demonstrate their best in class. And given that the change for us and the adoption is very simple, they said, guys, this we're interested in this. We want to adopt it. So that was really, really nice. The only issue we had was with the PAM management, which is a corner case that is not happening and not impacting the customers is really something for us. Uh, but luckily, the collaboration with Google uh, managed to have this part of the roadmap. So we have a delivery timeline and we're happy with it. So we know that you know it will work at scale even better than it does already today. So thank you, everyone. Back to you, Matt. Thanks, Antoine. So to wrap up, Google Cloud is committed to providing you with the most comprehensive and flexible portfolio of sovereign solutions in the industry. We give you the power of choice to choose the right level of control for your workloads so you can innovate faster and operate with confidence. Thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you have a wonderful time at Security Summit.